welcome to Our Disordered Life. Today I'm going to flip through the month of August that you guys didn't get to see because I didn't film at all in August. And we're going to plan for this coming week of September, which is the 14th to 20th, I believe. So this is how August looked. Nothing planned, nothing special, just my husband's random new work days because he had a career change and I did not know when his schedule was going to be. So I had a really hard time just figuring out when to do laundry and stuff like that. Plus we also decided this year to homeschool our eldest he is going into the first grade so this was my last month to have everything planned and ready and bought and all that so I'm sorry due to homeschooling plans that I needed to figure out a new job and work schedule that needed to get straightened out like they started him working a completely different shift and then got him not until this past week, actually, on the shift that he was actually scheduled to do. So all this was like training, fun stuff. And then we had some other family things going on that just took up all of my time. But I'm back and I'm ready to get back to being active. So this is our monthly September. I've got my husband's work days. He is now off Mondays and Tuesdays instead of on the weekend. So we will be visiting family on Sundays. We have hanging out with some friends on Mondays still. We'll be playing Minecraft with the boys before they come and doing all of our chores. Tuesdays are going to be meditation lesson and nature study for my son's schooling because we're doing Blossom and Root this year. Plus, we want to work on some coping skills for him, so meditation and uh, coping workbook is hopefully going to help with that. And then my husband's also doing survival skills with him. So he's going to learn how to tie a knot, start a fire, I don't really know, that's my husband's criteria, but, <laughs> you know, that's the plan for Tuesday. Wednesdays, we're having game nights. Thursdays, are life skill practice, so right now, he's working on tying knots. So, survivor skills and life skills are kind of going hand in hand, because he's learning how to do a regular bow knot first, which also helps him learn to tie his shoes. So. That's our current skill we're working on. Then we're doing a fall bucket list item every Friday and a movie night every Saturday since technically that's our end of the week is Saturday. For events, I've got our youngest birthday, he turned two, and my husband's birthday, he'll be 28. We have a wedding to go to that we're a part of and we're going to be visiting Gettysburg at some time with my in-laws, which we can't wait for. The only projects we have going on is finishing that one garden that we didn't get done yet and just working on clearing out our woods. We want more yard and less trees. <laughs> so my goals for this month is having the patio power washed, the yard all cleaned up, the bookshelves and art shelves and my desk organized better because they look like a jumbled mess on shelves, toys better sorted and organized so I can do a rotational thing. And I want to do that with their books too so they don't have everything out and they don't really know what to pick. and starting on holiday plans because for me baking cookies starts in October so I gotta know what's going on <laughs> this month 
We finally moved into stage three in our state, which I guess is a good thing, but we also got our first confirmed death in our county a couple days ago. So we're still, still pretty distancing. We're not taking any rest. Our goals are self-improvement. So we all have things that we want to work on about ourselves. Getting up and following our routine for school and walking for at least five minutes every day, whether it's raining or what, as long as it's not extreme temperatures, five minutes outside isn't going to kill anybody. And then all of our things for homeschool, we're working on meadows and grasslands, ponds and wetlands, their ecosystems and food chains, fall, Abraham Lincoln with honesty, responsibility. We're going to focus on the first five presidents, the New England and Mid-Atlantic states, Order of the Planets, some local bird identification. We're reading Little Fur and trying to memorize Oogie Boogie for our poetry memorization. And then our new homeschool year goals. Which so far is going good. The boys are really, really loving it. So. We also are homeschooling Wednesday to Saturday, which is a weird schedule for most people, but it's working for us. So July is when we were doing the job change. Officially, his first day was the 1st of August. So I was doing really great, and I got almost everything done. I did not clean our stove drip pans at all. One week, I didn't do anything extra. I didn't clean out the car. We never built that sandbox. And I was missing my Thursday videos last month, wasn't I? I'm sorry, guys. So then August, I kind of filled this in as I went and cheated. So <laughs> my video schedule, of course, is completely MIA. I only posted free four times on Instagram, so I've been missing there too. But I still managed to keep the house relatively in check. Still didn't clean the stove drip pans though. What is wrong with me? <laughs> I'm gonna tell what my least favorite job is. I did bissel the house, but I did it much later. And one week I missed laundry, which I'm still recuperating from. I still have laundry that needs finished. This was my spread for the first week of August. I was really trying to figure out how to block schedule this month. And then at the bottom is basically my journaling. Then the next week I did it all in black and it looks really busy down here and I don't like it. If you guys have an idea on how to fix filling it in at the end of the week, let me know. Here I went from putting the menu at the top to putting it at the like, appointed times. And then right here on the side. I gave myself a bar for the hours, so like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, lunch, all the way to 5 o'clock. Because after 5, I didn't have anything planned. We didn't do family activities because we were just trying to get used to everything. Week of the 17th, I was doing a lot better in my vlog scheduling. Have not used this sidebar for quite a long time, though. Like, if you look back... June June 15th is the last time I put anything there but I want to start utilizing this again so I'm probably going to put like my meal pl plans this week there and then I've got where I try to color coat some keep it in one color instead of just using like random colors <laughs> but I really liked this spread I liked taking up the entire block. I didn't leave any room for journaling, but I was so busy this week because it was right before our son's birthday that I was not sitting down and writing out what we did and, you know, stuff like that. So that worked for me. 
this is my current monthly spread for September. So I've got the days my husband works in this periwinkle midliner color. I wrote everything in purple to kind of mix it up a little. Honestly, I'm getting a little tired of my black. <laughs> and green is the things that are done. And in this teal colored blue is not done. So like these things did not get done yet. Today is the 12th. This video will go up the 13th. I promise. So our son's party. I forgot to green these done. Of course, I tidied up the house and set up for the party. <laughs> But we had to party prep, clean bathroom, clean lights, tidy up house, sweep, mop, do dishes, and then set up for party and tidy house on his actual birthday party day. The day after I cleaned up from the party, we organized our movies, planted some potatoes, planned out next week, and did laundry. Friday, I made a master to-do list of everything that I wanted to accomplish by winter. Because that is our thing. When the first frost date hits, we want all of our summer things to be done. Had to go to Dollar General in the library. That is the only place where we live that we can buy modeling clay. So since we're doing Blossom and Root, modeling clay is a big thing in English to be using all the time. So I had to go specifically to that store to get it. <laughs> we don't even have it at our local Walmart. So then I set up the month. I did not paint my nails or work on holiday plans yet. I intend to get it done this Sunday. <laughs> For the most part. Did not, I kept the house clean and I deep cleaned the house but I didn't get to anything else. I wanted to power wash the patio and carport, progress on our room which is a current laundry disaster and organize my desk. That didn't happen. But I'll find time. Sunday, keep house clean, prep for the week play with the boys, sort and organize their toys. Their toys are now on rotation and it makes me so happy. Keep house clean, mow, did not weed eat, raked up grass, burned brush. We finished our D&D &D characters. Mine was technically done, but I was confused in some of the stats. So we fixed that and then my husband made his D&D &D character. He's our DM. So for the longest time he didn't have a character. <laughs> and yes, we're nerds that play D&D every Monday with our friends. <laughs> Work on garden didn't get done and cleaning the basement didn't get done because we slept in that day and we ran out of time. <laughs> Meditation, nature study, and no household chores on Tuesday. That is for the entire month except for my husband's birthday. I have nothing that day. It, the Monday of that week, I keep the house clean meditation, nature study, and then just a catch up day. We're not doing anything of importance, just keeping things going. Wednesday was keeping the house clean, maybe catching up on something, and first day of homeschool. Of course, I didn't schedule anything because their first day they're going to not want to do it, right? Plus two-year-olds. Two-year-olds are epic distractions when they don't know what's going on yet. <laughs> Thursdays are my new Tuesdays. So if you've been following me, everything that I did on Tuesday, I now do on Thursday. Because technically, that's my Tuesday. <laughs> so, cleaning the kitchen, cleaning the microwave, cleaning out the fridge, tidying up the house, sweeping. This past Tuesday, Thursday, I wanted to better organize the cabinets. Didn't get that done. I'm planning on doing that today, hopefully. Next week, it's better organizing the cabinets. I put that down twice. I guess I really want that done. And then the week after that, we're inventorying our food. Because it's the last technical Tuesday of the month. That's when we do it. So, Friday is my new Wednesday, which means cleaning the bathroom, cleaning the mirror, cleaning the lights, cleaning the mirrors, dusting. Um, my son is weeding the gardens on that day checking our budget and doing the plans for the week. Saturday, laundry, sweep, mop, tidy house, catch up. Right? Yep. 30th, set up for October. 
Keep house clean, one extra thing. Keeping house clean and doing one extra thing is all Wednesdays because that's my first day of the week. <laughs> Sundays we visit my mom, my in-laws, and I research and prep for the week ahead for like school related things and whatnot. Monday is our chore day, so it's always going to be keeping the house clean, mowing, weed eating, raking grass, burning brush, working on the garden, whatever catch up item I need to do. And then that is it. I know I did that very roundabout. I'm sorry. <laughs> so into September, I love this spread right here. It makes me really happy. So what I did was I put the weather at the top, a little check for my morning routine, when my husband worked, and then my morning. So until the boys woke up, that is what I wanted to do. Then I have breakfast, my things to do, lunch, and then what we had going on. Wait, I didn't have lunch this couple days, did I? There's breakfast, that's dinner. So I didn't put lunch in there. Whoopsie. And then what was going on afterwards and then this is my little journal notes which looks better being in different colors than black I think at least so then over here I fixed it <laughs> I had breakfast and lunch and dinner so my a.m. to do's my nap time to do's and then what we were doing when my husband got home so yeah boop, boop, right Last week I did, a, or this week technically, because this is today, I did a rainbow theme. And honestly, I don't like the rainbow theme. I don't like how all of this is, yeah, no. Wasn't my favorite. Normally I like the rainbow theme, but it just made it difficult using only one of these mild liners a day. So. Now we're on to this week, and hopefully you stuck around. I am going to do a gold and yellow theme because this month is apparently Childhood Cancer Month. <laughs> I am late on knowing that. So I have some thinny, thinny, skinny gold washi I got at Dollar Tree, which I really like Dollar Tree washi. Sometimes it doesn't stick well, but... Seriously, it comes in a pack of four, I think. Four or five. Four a dollar. So I can't get much better than that. And then I have my Happy Planner watercolor sticker box book. The mm. sticker book. It is the only sticker book I currently own. And I'm going to pull gold and yellow out of here and do, I guess, a blue. <laughs> gold and yellow layout. So, let's get started. Alright, so I put gold washi at the top and bottom of my spread. Realized why am I doing this in the happy planner book this is the reason why we have a happy planner so I took pages out I don't know if I'm gonna put it here yet I'm gonna wait and see I do know however that I want to put this don't forget sticker here I'm gonna go ahead and do that So, like always, I have my mouth liners, my Sharpie pens, and my Paper Mate Flare medium tip pens. So, first and foremost, I'm going to lean up here and flip back to my happy planner page that I like the most. So, 
going to use a light yellow and make a box. to write the weather. today. <laughs> so, relatively good weather. However, starting to cool down. Sunny, sunny, mostly sunny, clouds and sun, partly cloudy, clouds and sun, mostly sunny, around 70 and 50s to mid 40s overnight, which is relatively cool for me. I'm not real major on <laughs> wanting to freeze, but whatever, right? have a place to mark my morning routine.
but when we have to switch our morning routine, it kills me. <laughs> Especially this new one where I have to wake up before 5 o'clock. 5.30 is like my golden time to wake up. If it's 5 o'clock or later, I can do it. But waking up at 4 literally took the entire month to figure out what was going on. Ooh, weekend sticker. Exactly there. It's nice to have a weekend sticker when your weekend is not an illegit well, you normal know, weekend. go. Nine million years later, I have a weekend sticker. Alright. Where on earth did it disappear to? Huh, it was stuck to me. Alright. I'm gonna put this quote on Sunday. Because I always have left in the room on Sunday. So I might as well put a sticker. And I really love this sticker. Especially for my current moment in life. It says, don't stress, do your best, forget the rest. So, I am a kind of OCD perfectionist, and this past month of not knowing when my husband's going to work, not knowing when I'm going to be able to do laundry, not knowing when I'm going to be able to do anything, has literally murdered me. <laughs> Didn't know if I was going to survive. Just be dramatic right there. <laughs> Alright. So. Writing in my husband's work schedule and morning routine and the weather. Now I'm going to do my little to do's for the morning. So start with Wednesday.
figure out what is supposed to be going on in my head right now. get my Instagram out early so I don't forget it. day, Instagram, edit, prepare for a day, and clean up from night before. And I'm just going to write that fruit out here. Thursday, I've got cleaning the kitchen and cleaning out the microwave. In addition to that, because um, if I have the time, might as well do the chore, right? Try to clean bathroom. In the morning that day too. Work on plans Friday. Alright, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, start laundry. So I have to think about my week. Sunday I just have my Instagram post and packing up for the day.
taxes. So, Monday and Tuesday is what? Another box. Not bad for free, I need it. So, I wish I had another yellow, like this color. I do not, though. That makes me sad. Actually, let me check my markers. I'll be right back. Alright. Art kit here to save the day. My Royal and Ling Nickel marker. Can house menu. Yep, different color. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's a shade lighter, which is good and yes for me.
just for the pleasure of it. And Monday we're having... Nope, that's not going to show. <laughs> Maybe I should color in the menu after I write it. Because that did not <laughs> work. Tuesday. Sausage gravy. Wednesday. Cereal. Thursday. Sunday cereal again. All right. We're gonna fix this. breakfast. It'll be chores. I can't put any stickers on today. Ugh, must be out of practice. the patio and carport and then work on the garden. darker. Maybe I'm not.
redeemed the treasure. something going off, but my phone is not over here. Hmm. Alright. Let's switch that with a heart. I want another box for the rest of the week ish. color and I just want to check boxes and It's a big part of my day, but if I try to write out the different activities we're going to do, I'd have no room for anything else. So I have that planned out, and a regular spiral notebook, and another little Dollar Tree planner that I got specifically for that. And that's where I keep all the information for that. I wish I could all keep it in one place, but my planner is just not big enough for that. This is my life and work planner, and then I have a school planner now. Yay! <laughs> Alright. Next for that, I'll have another box. I really need to get, like, a little box template thing. Instead of using my ruler a hundred and one times. But currently all of our cash is going on school related items. So Wednesday is just keeping the house clean one extra thing day. Alright, so then I'm going to put better organized cabinets, but I hope to have that done before then. I'm going to 
finish my this because God knows it's probably not going to be done. Alrighty. Put away laundry. Keep house clean and water plants, clean up after breakfast. Breakfast dishes, I think. Geo has things that he now helps with every day since he's two. We're trying a little harder to get him to be helpful <laughs> because that boy won't even help pick up toys unless it's his idea. So, throughout the day, he has little things that he does. Monday is PB and J. Tuesday we're having sandwiches. Wednesday we're having videos. And this is the kids. <laughs> Except for these two days, because we'll be out and about, so we're having sandwiches on that day, and then chore day is always a PB and J day, just because I don't like to make more work on a work day. <laughs> Quesadilla is Friday. Saturday and we will eat at my mother's on Sunday for lunch. Which I think I could put in 
seen everybody. Which would basically make that done. sticker and then put another little heart sticker on the opposite side first <laughs> so I don't mess it up. Sunday is sweet and sour stir fry, but I don't know if I want to have meatballs or chickpeas or chicken. I haven't decided. Probably not going to be chicken based on the rest of the week, but I don't know otherwise. <laughs> going to use my other flag. things that I want to make sure get accomplished for me on Monday. House clean. That's a big one on the weekend. Is not letting the house go to disarray. Books on rotation. Straighten up. Coat closet. Finish. Command center. It's up and running, but there's some pages that I wanted to add. And then. Catch up on finishing to get our room back to perfect order. The art shelf if I haven't gotten to it, the bookshelves if I haven't gotten to it, my desk if I haven't gotten to it. I have J 
just about all day to do that. So I should be able to Dinner. All right. Minecraft can be played by four people if you have four controllers. So our thing is to play Minecraft even with our two-year-old on Monday before we have friends come over and then that is the video game consumption that our six-year-old has for the week otherwise he's on his tablet for a half hour a day doing educational apps and that is it Tuesday we have meditation, nature study, breakfast, lunch, fun, fun, fun. I'm gonna put a box. There, for that block. And then, when Tuesday comes, at that time, we know what is going on. I'm going to put what we actually needed to do. Tuesday is survival skills. And then 
Tuesday for dinner is da, 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 pasta. I figure out what kind of pasta we're all feeling like having after the next couple of days. Better to know. Oh hey, everybody's feeling like chicken alfredo or let's have pasta a gratin or rigatoni or something. It's better to know what kind of pasta you want the day you want it. And it's not important until then. It's really not. Alright. So all I have is the school week left. So, probably going to do block four. Oh my goodness, that has not been recording. Uh. Well, I don't know what you missed. That sucks. Apparently, when I pushed the record button, it didn't notice it was recording. So... I finish this up and then I'll clue you in where you missed. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So right now I'm doing a box on school days, Wednesday through Saturday, for chores with Geo. So. With Geo, I've got what did I got last week. Do, 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 do. Make lunch, clean up after lunch, and pick up. Make lunch, clean up lunch, and pick up before. Since they're listed here and that kind of evens up the line, I'm um, just going to put check boxes for those days. And then Thursday is my Tuesday day. So that's all I have with him. Friday. So, nothing. There we go. Chores. So. I 
things I can either do at nap time, involve Ven with, or chores that Ven has to actually do. Like Geo, who tends to help do breakfast dishes in the morning. At nap time, Ven is responsible for lunch dishes. So helps pick up toys. Because he gets breaks in the morning and he'll tear out toys too and then just leave them and get back to his schoolwork. So he helps Geo before Geo takes a nap. And then later on in the day, they're picking up toys again before bed. So toys stay under wraps for the most part. Day is my weeding the garden day. <laughs> I think it's Friday. Yeah, because that's bathroom day, so everything is done. We need the garden. All right, I got that. Now we're good to go. <laughs> All right. So, and then tidy house. That's good, I'm going to do it. Alright, I'm going to stay here. There, I'll put one thing extra. thing is family activities. We don't do them right before bed anymore. We do them an hour after my husband gets home, which has seriously helped us do them more. Sure, game night, movie night, all that's fun. The darker it gets, but We wait till after dinner and our youngest takes until almost bedtime to eat dinner. Then we're not going to watch a movie because he's going to watch a half hour of it and go to sleep. And then it'll take us forever to watch a movie. But if we do it before dinner, it happens. And family events should happen.
can be based on. If you have time, they should just happen. You make time. Kids are going to remember the things you do with them more than they are the things you do for them. So we focus, at least we try, <laughs> we try really hard to focus on life experience more than stuff and what we do for our kids. Like last year for my son's birthday we took him um, take some caverns, which is something that he really wanted to do, and then <coughs> as my voice, voice crackles a little bit, <coughs> sorry, we went bowling, his brother, who was only a couple months old, stayed with grandparents, so it was just an us and him day. Which, being the only child for as long as he was, one-on-one -on -one time with parents is pretty necessary sometimes. And then we went to Disney. We took him to the beach for his birthday. And we got him stuff, we did, but we didn't get him a lot because we knew that we spent X amount of dollars on going to Disney or the ocean for the weekend or anything else we did and what souvenirs he wanted, he got. So the souvenirs and the trip kind of counted as part of his birthday gifts too. So we didn't feel so bad that we got him like one or two things. Especially my husband, he goes overboard. Do you have a spouse or a family member who just thinks he needs to shower, or she needs to shower the kids with stuff, because they love them, because my husband is definitely like that. Anything for the kids, anything they want or could possibly need, they have immediately, <laughs> even if they don't need it for like a couple months. But, that's a good thing too. I don't complain too much. I just try to make sure we have more money saved than I anticipated for, like, the kids' birthdays and Christmas. Just in case my husband goes off the deep end and buys a lot more than we need. <laughs> but, that is my spread. I've got you flipped around in my hand now. Hopefully you didn't miss too much of this plan with me. But, sorry for my shadow. It's still really early in the day, so the light's above me. Or else it would be dark. Got our weather. Check for my routine, when my husband works. My morning to-dos before the boys wake up. Meditation with Vin, nature study, our chores, a block for 
if we need to do something on Tuesday, chore related, Minecraft and survival skills, food, and then all the to do's for the school day. I'm just going to go down real slow instead of reading it in case the camera was caught in time. <laughs> And from the look of the camera, it is readable. By the way, I love this quote. <laughs> it says, enjoy life, eat the cupcake. I like it. I wish I had some white out to cover the blue, but I worked around it some. Hopefully you like it, and you subscribe and tune in next time for my next video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you guys Tuesday. Bye.